So you're here because you've decided to buy an EMF protective bed canopy. First thing you need to do is make three choices. You need to choose the size, you need to choose the fabric and you need to choose the shape. So the size is simple, obviously it's the size of your bed. The fabric, um, modern day in the 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G world, I would strongly recommend you go for block silver. By all means, you know, sort of troll our website and look at the other options, but that's the canopy fabric that we use ourselves, for my, myself and my family. Um, the third thing you have to do is choose the shape. Uh, you've got a choice of, of dome shaped and uh, box or what we call framed for poster shape. The dome shape is cheaper because it uses less fabric, but it's not as livable with it's a bit more claustrophobic and, and it's not as easy to get the airflow that you need. So I would uh, I would lean you towards the four poster framed block silver canopy for the bed of your choice. It's the easiest to put up. It doesn't require any drilled holes and you can get a good airflow and it, there's plenty of room in it and it just feels good. It's what we use. Okay, but I'll leave you to, to draw around our website to decide uh, which canopy you need. After that, you also need to consider whether you need to protect underneath your bed. So the only real chance that you don't have to do that is if you're on the ground floor. If you're not on the ground floor, you will need a bed mat to stop radio frequency and other electromagnetic frequencies coming into your canopy from underneath and negating the use that you've got with the protection from the sides and the top. You also need to earth the canopy and the mat. You only need to earth one of them because the canopy should drape down onto the mat, making an electrical connection there. The reason you need to earth is because the best canopies and mats are conductive, which means they will pick up the electromagnetic fields that are present in your wiring even when you've got all your switches to, switched off. If you can do this great faithful leap and do what we do which is to switch all the power off at night then you actually don't need to earth. You do still need the bed mat to make your canopy work well but you don't need to earth because the earthing is nothing to do with the radio frequency that you've bought the canopy and the mat to stop. It's picking up electrical frequencies from the live wiring in the walls whether your sockets are switched on or not they're live unless you switch all your power off at the mains for the night. Don't worry about fridges and freezers. We've been doing this for 10 years. In the height of summer, we freeze a bottle of water and put that into the uh, into the fridge. Freeze it in the day, put it in the fridge overnight. If you can't do that for other reasons, uh, then you need to earth. So have a, a scan around our, our website. You'll see various levels of earthing. I hope that can help you make, make your de decision. In, in short, you need to choose your size, shape, fabric, you need to make sure you've got a bed mat unless you're on the on the ground floor and you need to earth unless you're prepared to turn all the power off at night. If you do all of these things, your canopy will change your life. It will change your sleep patterns. It will change your energy levels in the days. It will just revolutionise you, but you must make sure you get all the aspects of it right. That's what we're here for. We're here via email, via, via chat, and via phone and by lots of videos.